Wait a minute. And God. In case you didn't hear, she said on guard. This is how we vacuum. Look at all the stuff coming out. I don't know if you can see it all, but it is coming out of this car with this Ego, I think it's pronounced Ego uh, leaf blower. Man, it gets the stuff under the seats and everything. It's been a long time since this car has been cleaned on the inside. Like I said, it's been sitting for a long time. Hey, hey, don't forget the package tray. Huh? The package tray. It's disintegrated and it's going to all totally blow away. And the reason we do it like this, tell them, because one time we had a 62 Lincoln and <laughs> the whole carpet unraveled into the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum. <laughs> yeah. And we had a. No yeah, we had a 62 Lincoln years ago, suicide doors and all. Beautiful car, but it needed restored on the inside a little bit. The carpet, it was just rotten. So instead of us using a vacuum cleaner on this 62 Impala that belongs to Tim, we're just going to use the leaf blower. And this thing's pretty dang powerful. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Anyway. My wife does this now on, on all our old vehicles that we get that's been found in fields, barns, ditches, woods, just wherever we come up with stuff. But I'll tell you what, Tim was pretty lucky to get this car out here. This is a sweet little car. Oh my. That's good. What's well, a whirlwind? Hey, right, that's probably good enough up there. <laughs> the package tray is rotten. So, I had a package tray for a two-door sports coupe like I have, a new one, but it won't fit. It just won't fit. So, I'll have to ask Tim what he wants to do. My wife might come up with an idea. I'm not really sure. But we'll see what happens. Gosh, that's all over the car, isn't it? Is that it? That's it? Let's see what it looks like. I'll give the final inspection. A... Got a little bit here that yeah, didn't. I gotta go on that side this way. Yeah, okay, yeah. But see this package yeah. Yeah, it was rotten. That's the reason somebody stuck a rug up there. We might just put a nicer rug or something. We'll come up with something. Yeah. Let me have that now. Get rid of it. There's, a, the car. there's that nice rug that was back there. Nice rug, it's rotten. Yeah, but okay. It's like okay, okay, okay. Don't be breathing that in. Okay, I, I get it. Don't be breathing it in. I don't want you any more messed up than what you are. <laughs> <Quit>. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm taping up these uh, this aluminum piece that runs down the side. I'm going to rattle can it white to cut, somewhat match the top in case you forgot or just just joined us, whatever. 
uh, it's taking a while to do that because I'm trying to get it I'm trying to make it I'm trying to act like this car is mine so especially if it's someone else's I try to take more care than I would my own so anyway I'll pause it here hope y'all enjoyed it I have spray adhesive and I'm going to try to get this sun visor yeah just get it where it looks better than it does Mainly along the edges. Okay, now I'm going to put the glue to the glue part. Fabric? Yeah. Gosh, try not to breathe that in. It smells really good. <laughs> Have my handy dandy chip clips clothes pins <laughs> chip clips that's actually that's what we do with them mm. you want to use some uh, painters tape I am before you get oh it's coming down no oh I thought you meant that no material. 62s are notorious for the sun visors coming down while you're driving not just 62s, a lot of Chevys. But all the 62s we've had. Yeah, all the 62s we've had, which has been quite a few. Hey, good deal. Remember, we're acting like it's our car. So we like chip clips. Probably too heavy for it to hold up, actually. This is how we do it. We hook it under the... Bow. There. Put a little bit of painter's tape on those around those edges on. Um, around here. Yes. Please. Yes, sir, supervisor. I've always wanted to be a supervisor. <laughs> never been one, even though I'm married. I've never been one. I've always, I've always been told what to do. Not <laughs> just like when it comes to painting my grass. Yeah, that's I like painting grass. Okay, I'd say that's good enough. Hopefully, it's gonna work. Hopefully. Okay. Okay, guys. Finally, I guess you can see that the wind started blowing. It always does when I say anything about painting painting anything that's when the wind starts blowing so anyway you can see that i have to do a little bit more taping i guess on the newspapers but finally got this thing taped on one side so i'm going to go over the center part of this aluminum piece with some white to match the white top kind of match i'm using a flat white paint and i can scuff it up accordingly to kind of let it match the white top so this is what it looks like before, kinda, before then. But uh, in case you didn't know it, uh, I've had a bunch of 62s and uh, they're about 14 feet long. So you're probably looking at 28 feet of taping and I'm trying to do, a, I'm trying to do a real good job because well, uh, if I'm working on somebody else's stuff, I try to do the best that I can, better than I would for myself. So, as, as I said, this belongs to Tim Dixon, so I'm trying to do him the best that I can, my capabilities. So, anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it on. Well, hopefully, it'll kind of match. So, we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. This is the trim before. Oops. Not doing too good filming. Okay, you ready? I guess. I'm a little bit nervous. 
all because this is not my car. Wait a minute, I hear the wind. It's just waiting for me to get started painting. Here comes that wind. Okay, I guess I'm not going to paint. Let's see what we can do. Remember, I don't want it to be perfect. If it's blotchy, to me, that's okay. Are you doing a second coat? I don't think so. I think I'm going to just do this right here and give hints that it's white. I'm hoping. Oh, by the way, I'm using this Krylon uh, flat white, in case you're wondering. Uh, it doesn't exactly, doesn't exactly match the top. Not exactly, but I think it just, I think there's enough difference between the top and this trim that it'll be okay. So you can kind of see it's kind of blotchy. All I want is just little hints that it used to be white, because it was. It used it should have been white in here. So uh, I guess I guess I'm going to leave it like this. What do you think? I think another coat. If I go too much, it's going to look like it's just been painted. I don't want it to look like it's just been painted. Don't so, you want it to pop? I think it's going to pop just fine. The time I get done putting Penetrol on, I think it'll be fine. That's my opinion. And uh, Judge Roy Bean has ruled. So I, we'll just leave it like this. I can always spray another one. I can't take it off. So let's just leave it at that and see what it looks like. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I think it's going to look pretty good. I think that's gonna look real good. Look at that. Just enough. One more coat and it would have looked it wouldn't have looked natural. See how it's kind of have you recorded? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay, we'll see how it's kind of blotchy. That's perfect. It looks original. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going for. It's easy to uh paint something but trying to keep it looking original and still do a little bit of painting besides that's what's called that looks really good you can see the white it's just enough gosh I'll show you on the other side what it looks like now I gotta tape up the other side see there's no paint at all on this Guys, I'm real happy about this. I know some of y'all's probably laughing, thinking you're happy about this. Yes, I'm happy about this because I'm trying to make the paint match the car. So, I mean, this looks like the original white insert in this aluminum piece. And uh, I can't believe it turned out so well. I mean, it's thin in spots and it's blotchy. And I mean, it looks like it is, uh, how old is it, 62, what, 60 years old or no, 59 years old. So I guess that's how old it is. Close enough, close to 60. So I'm real happy about that. I mean, small victories. I mean, I when I'm working on somebody else's stuff, like last night I had a hard time sleeping, wanting to make sure 
I guess I'm kind of a nut. I want to make sure that I do the best that I can. And this part was worrying me. But it turned out really good. See how blotchy it is? And I mean, it just looks original. Like, you know, like some of the rust has come onto the aluminum piece there, even through the paint. But you can still tell that it's white. So that's great. I got a few little places I got to clean up right here and around the door handle. Uh, a little bit right here. Kind of hard to get that tape to go around the, the door handle shape of the door handle but i can get that off i got me some uh some real fine steel wool and some scotch bright so i'll get it off so uh so now i gotta do the other side 28 foot front to back or close enough to 28 like i said this car's this car's 14 foot long so i'm saying 28 foot it's a little bit less than that but it's long enough but gosh just I'm just really stoked. I know it's small victories and stuff like that. And I know I'm into patina style, in case you didn't know. So this is what I enjoy doing. And when you get a vehicle like this, truck, car or truck, you can't hurt it. I mean, you're just going to be helping it. So to me, this made the whole, the whole trim, to me, just look great. Great. I love this look. Like I said, I know anybody that's watched my channel for any length of time, I've had... I've had some really nice cars and some really nice trucks, but I have not enjoyed them near as much as I do cars and trucks like this that I can actually play with and I'm not scared to touch them or look at them or drive them or whatever, you know, because, I mean, and it's a once in a lifetime look. Uh, like, again, my wife asked me if I was gonna paint the top. Heck no, I'm not gonna paint that top. You can't buy that look. I mean, when you go to the rod running stuff like we did here a month or two months ago, whenever, why? I mean, you've seen a lot of fake patina people. People love this stuff. And I mean, this is all natural on this car. You can't buy it. So it has to be nature made. So I'm real happy about how it turned out. I think this car is going to really look good when we get some penetrol on it. But for now, I've got to do this other side. And it takes me a while to paint and clean up the after effects like on the door handle and stuff. So I don't know how far, probably won't get the penetrol today, but uh, should be coming up real soon. So just stay tuned to the channel if you would, and we'll see how it turns out. And uh, hopefully you'll subscribe. And don't forget, I got a second YouTube channel, Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best, Facebook, Primer is Best, and uh, Man on a Budget 1 on instagram too so uh man on a budget one so anyway we'll see how it turns out okay guys uh this is the side i done first i'm fixing to do this side here got it all taped up in between bursts of wind oh i forgot a spot right there i gotta do it anyway i'll do that in a second what i was going to show you is uh we've discovered that this car is full of ants. Ants. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay, we're using this stuff right here. Mrs. PIB has put several pieces of cardboard. We had to stick this one here. It was in the back glass, and it was too hot, so none of the ants were going to it. And I was afraid the cardboard was going to soak it up, but it's this stuff right here. Gosh, this is some really good stuff. Comes in a little container. If I can get it out, and I'll show you. Kind of hard to do one-handed. Anyway, it's like this. Just put a few drops, and ants really like it. But they don't know. You have to be quiet. They don't know that it's poison. They think we're feeding them. So... That's what we're doing. They, I just set this here so they haven't discovered it yet. But all their friends are going to tell their other friends that there's some really good food here, but it's really poison. And got some here. Those ants have it surrounded. I mean, they're fighting to get in there to it. So, let's see. I don't know if she put any in the back or not. We'll, we'll see. 
Oh yeah, there's a couple there. There's a whole bunch there. She just set this stuff out and they are uh, swarming it. So she put a little bit on the window. She's gonna clean this off on the inside, but just look. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, let me try this. See all them ants? They are eating this stuff up. It's good for them. But I, I feel like I got ants all over me. They're all over this car. And uh, that's from, I guess just from sitting. So, got to remember to keep this door closed because the inside light still works and I don't want to run the battery down. So, but man, they are sure. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm telling you, they're eating this stuff up and I'm glad. So, anyway, if you need some really good ant killer stuff, I'm having to show it way back here because I don't want the ants to read it, what it really is. They think we're friends, so they're, uh, attaboy, keep eating. So they'll take all that back to their nest and hopefully, hopefully all of them will get killed and they kill the queen too. Anyway, I'll show you what this looks like in a minute. Okay, guys, what do you think? Remember, I'm not after perfection. I'm after patina style, like it's the original white paint in this aluminum in the insert part of this aluminum. Let me tell you, this is a lot of taping. And when I was growing up, these were kind of like medium-sized cars. You know, large, but not not the largest. I mean, it didn't come anywhere near a Cadillac or a Lincoln. When you start taping up and you're trying to trying to do a good job, it's looking at these ants. I'll tell you what, these ants are really loving this stuff. Golly. My wife put a little bit right here on the outside to try to get some that's running around on the outside here. This car is covered up in ants. I don't think I could drive it too far without being, you know, have ants in every crevice of me. But they are really going to town on this. I might have to feed them several times, but this might take two or three days of feeding these ants for them to go away. I'm so glad Mrs. P.I.B. remembered we had that stuff. So, it's really... Boy, there. That's just solid ants on the inside of this window. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, my goodness. They're eating this stuff up. Be quiet. We're feeding them. Oh, yeah, they're munching. Yeah, oh, this... Look at them. Oh, no. Yeah, they're real happy. This is good for them. <laughs> but like I said, their their friends are telling their other friends that there's some good eating here. Oh yeah, here's that spot that I put down here just a few minutes ago while I was painting and now they found this. But take just, it back to their nest. And, yeah, I know. It's good food. Good eating. If you're an ant. Yeah, if you're an ant, you really like this kind of stuff. They don't know it's poison. Shh. Shh. Okay. Anyway, this is probably all I'm going to get done to this car for today. It's starting to get long in the day. So, just this took a whole lot longer than what... I thought but it looks pretty good so uh, next time we get on this car we'll uh, clean it up real good on the outside and then we'll put be putting some penetrol on it but it, it already looks pretty good doesn't it I don't think it's gonna take very much I just want to make sure it's as clean as I can get it so okay thanks for watching I hope that you'll like and subscribe to primer this best and my other YouTube channel, Man on a Budget. Y'all have a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Wave bye.
I'll see y'all later.